this area it before was um, it was totally different and in the past years it has like evolved and become super trendy and uh, everybody comes here especially after six o'clock <laughs> that we're gonna see right now yeah. so can we yeah, walk sure, sure. and you show us uh, yeah. so, some places yeah yeah that that direction uh, is uh, called Piolo and that's uh, it's been uh, like a student uh, hotspot since many many years ago because it's right next to the University of Porto and it's still uh, quite uh, known between locals and uh, that direction there's many places that we can, we can see after and this this square is called Praça de Calzobert and everybody knows it and it's kind of a point of reference for people to meet to, to go out or to have dinner or things like that so in, in Porto there's a lot of tourists in the center would you say there's a lot of tourists here as well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I would say more local than tourists. Tourists end up coming here, but uh, well, while in touristy areas there's not so many locals, then here you will definitely find them. So would you say the prices are lower? Is it cheaper here than in the really touristy yes, areas? Yes, 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 yeah. it's cheaper. Yeah. For sure. And here you can also see um, maybe a bit more um, um, buildings in bad condition still. Well, in the center you will see everything is renovated and repaired and full of hostels. Then here it's still kind of happening. Like, and even the small shops they're closing, opening, closing, opening all the time. So it's changing all the time. That's why it's interesting to to come here. Every time there's something new, cheap prices, cheap bars. <laughs> yeah. Can you repeat the name, the name of this area, please? Sedefeta. If you were to sum up Sedefeta with one word, it might be hard. But what word would that be? Setenset. Mm. <laughs> Sorry? Setenset. Uh, well. I don't know what that means. That means it's a, it's a bar. Uh, which is uh... oh it's a place yeah oh, oh okay that's good no I was more thinking of if if um, a word to 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 explain it or to um... summarize it I'll just walk on the other side of it because of the Sun yeah yeah I'm thinking maybe um, the vibe is the vibe I think that's special here that's why I would say that yeah. what would you call the vibe Young. <laughs> <laughs> Energy. Yeah. Especially later when it's like 7 p.m. So this is Piolo and uh, that co coffee place there, Cafe Piolo, it's one of the oldest coffee places and restaurants here in Porto and uh, students go there. And if you go inside, you can see it's like really it looks antique. <laughs> can we can we take a look? Sure, sure. Ah. And the chairs and the, the prices. Prices are fine. It's a typical local Portuguese place. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They sometimes join the chairs together, the tables, and they make uh, big uh, student dinners. And sometimes they bring guitars and play and uh, sing. So it was much more common before before COVID happened. <laughs> But let's hope it's, it's going to return to the same. So. Wonderful. What do you like about Porto? I like that it's small. <laughs> it's small, it's, uh, it's really beautiful. 
Um, it's quite um, multicultural. There's the people from everywhere. Um, I like that it's not too expensive. At least um, food and going out and restaurants. The prices could be, the rent I mean could be better, but that's another issue. <laughs> but it, it is quite uh, cheaper than Lisbon, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's um, it's even cheaper than uh, my country. My family was here last week, and I said, "Wow, that uh, you can get this huge pastry and only pay fifty cents." <laughs> so, wow. So yeah, yeah. And, and I I got a coffee for for uh, 60, 60 cents. Sixty cents. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, and I told the woman. In my country, we would pay between three and four euros. I said because it was in a gas station, yeah. <laughs> and she was shocked. Yeah. <laughs> this area is like a drinking spot, uh, and this bar. Let me see which one it is. Adega, it's Paso Adega. Mm -hmm. It's where you can get one of the cheapest drinks. Uh, oh. Huge amounts <laughs> for good prices. So, is this uh, like a nightlife? Area, yeah, it's would like you for say? Drinking, for drinking, not life, not really, because there's no discos. It's simply for social drinking and hanging out. What, what's the night life scene in in Porto? What's the is it clubs um, or is it bars? Or? There's not so many clubs. There's a couple of streets where there are some discos. Um, and there, I wouldn't say that nightlife is something that you should really look forward to in Porto. I mean. If you like drinking, eating, and not dancing, it's okay. <laughs> but for those who like to really like party and dance, there's not so many options. And it's really small spaces. I'm not a big fan. But for the for the other things, it's it's it's, it's great. So where are we going now? We're gonna go down. Yeah. To see uh, one of my favorite views over Porto. Garden. Can we take and a look? Many people don't know it. Is it a secret spot? Yeah, people don't know this place, but uh, there's like a cascade uh, of stairs and uh, you can walk all of it. And there's many levels. And sometimes I come here for picnic and locals come here as well. Oh. But it's sort of hidden, like there's these gates, but no one reached those gates, so no one knows about it. This is called the uh, Jardim des Virtudes and uh, the other spot where people hang out to watch the sunset is Passeio das Virtudes and Passeio means uh, like a walk, walking, uh, like a pavement or walkway Passage? Or Maybe, yeah. yeah Nice, yeah. look at that, yeah Wow as always, the camera won't do it justice, right? <laughs> Maybe I can edit in some pictures more close up, but it's great. Yeah, we go down and down. Uh, Porto is a hilly city. Yeah. <laughs> it's up, ups and downs, like life. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to go to the gym too much no. <laughs> if you live here. Yeah. Unless you like sweet sweets. Yeah. And the Porto, uh, the city, is uh, we have the river, the, um, what's the name again? The Douro. Douro River. Yeah. And on the other side is another town, yeah. which is Gaia. Yes. Would you recommend to go to Gaia to experience this area? They always say the best thing about Gaia is the view to Porto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, like the the river uh, along the river is beautiful, uh, and uh, also the part uh, where uh, the bridge connects at the upper deck. It's also really worth to to visit and uh, go up to that monastery. And also there's another garden from where you can see uh, sunset towards uh, Porto. Also super beautiful. Um, and then uh, another really beautiful thing about Gaia is uh, 
you can you can if you like running or biking you can do all the way around along the river and reach the beaches in Gaia and for me those beaches are the best of Porto because they are long and they're not crowded and there's like plenty of them <laughs> on this side you don't get it so